Hello and welcome to Take Time. I'm your host, Patrick Marlatt, and today let's talk about how to celebrate a century. Mito celebrated the Big 100 earlier this year, a century of being in business. The group was founded in 1918, and to celebrate, they created a series of limited edition watches of one of their fan favorite models, the Baroncelli. Mito made three separate limited editions to celebrate the past with the rose gold PVD here, the present with a stainless steel model I don't have in, and the future with the blacked out version of the Mito Baroncelli on my left. The standard models of the Baroncelli have risen in popularity due to their excellent scale, affordability, and all around good looks. So what do these limited edition models offer? As with all of my reviews here on the channel, I like to start with the bad and then move on to the good before giving my final verdict on a review item. So let's talk Baroncelli. Each of these anniversary models will measure 38 millimeters in diameter with 46 millimeters between lug end to lug end. They are 11.45 millimeters thick and have 20 millimeter lug widths. Again, you can get these in either a stainless steel finish or a rose gold or black PVD as I have in today. They'll all come equipped with a high grade at a 2825 and the case these are featured in are rated at 50 meters water resistance. All three of the limited edition models will come in at around $1,260 at full retail. As with many modern Mito models I've experienced to date, the accessories aren't the best. The blacked out Mito's canvas strap is slightly better than the leather option you see here, but neither match the overall quality of the rest of the watch. Also, I'm not a huge fan of butterfly clasp. They do offer a nice seamless look once on the wrist, but they can be a nuisance to work on and off while you're trying to size this for your wrist. The accessories can definitely use an upgrade. Again, I like the canvas option just a little bit more, but it is rather stiff on the wrist. It's one of those options that's gonna soften up over time through repeated use. And this is a good time to mention, again, these Baroncellis I have in are only being lent into the show. And at this point, I've only had them for a week. So obviously this strap wasn't going to loosen up in that amount of time. While the dials are absolutely handsome in either styling, the lack of minute markers on the dial make time setting impractical. Now this is a personal gripe and it's obvious as to why they omitted them upon looking at these dials, but know that time accuracy isn't what these are for. Unless you wait every five minute increments to set the minute hand precisely where those hour markers are, it does become a little tedious when setting the time. Speaking of, the legibility for the blacked out model is kind of difficult. The high polished leaf hands blend in almost too well with the dial, making it difficult to read in some lighting conditions. The rose gold model doesn't suffer from that problem nearly as much as our blacked out version here does. So aside from the legibility of the Baroncelli in my left hand and the overall just okay accessories Mito supplies these with, these are real fantastic watches. The case design on either of these models is absolutely gorgeous. It has so much presence for a watch that's just shy of 11 millimeters thin and at 46 millimeters tall. The design cues for both of these are amongst my favorites from the Baroncelli range. The rose gold version is an absolute classic while the black version has this amazing sci-fi vibe to it. Now, I found myself wearing this one slightly more, if only to feel like I was in the Matrix. They just nailed it with the aesthetic here. Now, I can see this being sold in the year 2118, which is actually the number of models that this limited range is limited to. And I can definitely see our rose gold model here being made in 1918, which is precisely the number that this model is limited to. Though the looks of these limited edition Baroncellis is for novelty's sake, the case of this watch is so practical. If you wanted a watch for everyday use, either of these options are perfect. I think they look good dressed down or suited up, or even in a Hero Academy t-shirt, which I'm wearing now, they never feel out of place. Which is crazy for me to say, because I don't usually wear dress watches, which by all regards, this is. On that note, before I give you my final verdict 
on these limited editions. Let me go ahead and provide you all with a wrist shot so you can see what these might look like on your wrist. Again, this black model has sort of been my jam for the last week. This is the one I wore most often. I find it's just a little bit more comfortable on this canvas strap. It just worked better at molding to my wrist in a short amount of time. Again, if I were to purchase one of these, uh, what I would suggest to you is just get a nice accessory lined up for yourself. Um, these straps are okay. They're certainly going to serve the purpose of strapping this on your wrist, but they're not my favorite. Again, the canvas option being the superior of the two. It also has a neat little badge on it, which I'll show off in just a second. But here is the blacked out version, the year 2118 version of the Baroncelli on a seven and a quarter inch wrist for all of your admirers. And when you are going to admire it, it's going to look a little something like this. And here's that little badge I was referring to over on the strap. It says the same thing that's on the dial, 100th anniversary limited edition, and you can see it there off at the nine o'clock position. But I absolutely love the way that Sunray effect is managed on this dial. While we're taking it in, you can see what I'm talking about. It projects from the center of that sub seconds hand, which is very reminiscent to an older Mito Commander. If you look up the Mito Commander Ocean Star series, you'll notice that that has a sunray finish projecting from the six o'clock marker. So very familiar and a really cool throwback with this model here. So if you wanted a dress watch that doesn't necessarily feel like a dress watch, this is the one to get. With a high grade ETA 2825 at the heart of it, a masterfully designed case with the Baron Celli here, and a thematic styling for pretty much anyone's taste, you have a great watch here. For me personally, I'm going to keep rocking out this black PVD version of the watch. It's funny, I usually don't go for coded watches, but something about the finishing here is just phenomenal. I'd like to personally thank Mito and Fernanda for sending this off my way so I can share this experience with you guys. If you're wondering whether the Mito Baroncelli is right for you, ask yourself, and do I want a well-wearing watch with an excellent movement that looks good with anything? If that's the case, well then, Mito's done it again. If you found this video enlightening or the least entertaining, feel free to hit that like button. It looks a whole heck of a lot like this guy. And yes, I took the watch off. I feel like a doofus wearing two watches, so I'm gonna wear one for now. If you have friends, forums, or groups that were interested in the Baron Celli design, more specifically, these 100th anniversary models, well, feel free to share this video with them so they can get another consumer's opinion on the watches. And if you're new to the channel, well, welcome. I do videos like this two or more times a week, so if watch content is your thing, feel free to slam that subscribe button. And while you're down there, you can hit the little bell icon just next to that to be alerted as to when my videos air. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette, and thank you for the time.